All right, now some word problems with area and perimeter. So the main difference between this one and the last one is that there is not always going to be a picture. So we have to figure out what it looks like and what they are asking. So this first one, Malachi wants to put carpet in his bedroom. Okay, can you picture in your mind his bedroom wanting to put some carpet on there? Okay, so how much space is it going to cover? Probably. The bedroom measures 12 yards by 5 yards. Now, this is a really good time to draw a rectangle, all right? Or draw whatever shape it tells you and label it. Go ahead and do that on your notes. It's a big bedroom. All right, 12 yards by 5 yards. What is the area of his bedroom is the first question it's asking. So what is the area of it? Well, if you remember back to last lesson, we find the area of a rectangle by doing the length times the width. All right, so we have the length is 12, the width is 5, so we can do 12 times 5. You can use a calculator, it gives us 60. They're yards, so we would need square yards. Again, perhaps not the most realistic for a bedroom, but huge bedroom. All right, he also wants to put a border around the outside of his room. What is the perimeter of his bedroom? So imagine there's some sort of like border on his wall, some wood or wallpaper that goes around the outside. So we're trying to find the perimeter now. With the perimeter, how do we find it? Need to add up all the sides. So remember, I have to imagine the ones they didn't write, the tw other 12 and the 5, and that, then add all those together. I could also do 12 times 5 times 2, or 12 plus 5 times 2, sorry, because I have another 12 and another 5. Um, so I have 12 plus 12 plus 5 plus 5. I know 12 plus 12 is 24. 5 plus 5 is 10. So then I have 34 yards is the perimeter of his room. So the area and the perimeter. Make sure that's on your notes again so you can go back and look at it if you need to. If you need to pause because you didn't uh, get it all written down, go ahead and do that. Second problem, we'll just do two for this one. And I am also always happy to read a problem for you. If it's a word problem and you're missing or confused about some words, let me know. Josh has a piece of construction paper that measures 18 inches by 9 inches. Okay, we can assume it's a rectangle since they're just giving us the two dimensions. So we have 18 and 9. Draw the rectangle on your paper. Sorry, that 9 looks kind of funny. He uses half of it for an art project. What is the area of the piece of paper that Josh has left? Okay. Well, if we want to know the area of what's left, we should probably start by figuring out the area of the whole paper because that's the information that we have. So we'd want to find, okay, the area equals, sometimes we can just abbreviate L and W for length times width. So we can do 18 times 9 or 9 times 18. I'll pull up my calculator. Just make sure I did that right. 162. 162 inches squared. Now it says he uses half of it for an art project. So I need to take this. How can I find half of something? If I have 10, okay, half of 10 is 5. Half of 20 is 10. Half of 50 is 25. Okay, I'm just splitting it into two equal groups. So I can just split this in two, and then I'll know how much he used 
and also how much he had left, right? Because if he used half of it, that means he also had half of it left. Because a half and a half, and then this is paper, if he uses this half, he still has that half left. So when they're asking me how much is left, I can just figure, okay, that's also half of it. So 162 divided by 2 would be 81. Again, we have square inches of paper. If I cut it into little squares, I would get 81 of them. That's what area means. All right. So make sure you've done the ones on your notes, the ones that I did with you. Then you'll be able to do the ones on your practice paper. Some of them are very similar with just different numbers and a slightly different setup, but very similar. So make sure you ask if you have any questions and you got, oh, and don't forget you can use a calculator.